Hello, welcome, Mafia Defenders of Physician, Part 3. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! The jam with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just. I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> <laughs> Spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there it says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. 
A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. It should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. All right. All right, sorry about the weird sound. I <laughs> had my microphone lifted up. Talk to Ralph. How do we get out of here? So we're going to sabotage a racist car. That was all cutscenes there for a few minutes, wasn't it? Hmm. So that's a five, a six. It's already behind the bar. This guy, intriguing. I like him. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t t t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motors safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. All right, let's open the garage and select the vehicle. Uh, the shoe bed. Oh, the taxi, six taxi. Oh, nice. Look at this thing. It's got to be the bed one, isn't it? Got to be. Speed on my set. Ah, we should have just took the other fucking car. Meet with the guards at the racetrack, okay. Yeah, they didn't have my microphone up before. I don't know whether I cut it off the video. Oh no. Sounds a little off. Sounds like a. Uh, or shouting from the other side of the room. I am absolutely loving this game so far, I really am. I'm thinking if this was okay. You know, with the likes of views and whatnot. Uh, I'll probably do the second one. I did buy the trilogy edition. So maybe so. I wanted to do the odd uh, couple of horror games though. Oh shit. I haven't done them in a little while. You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Tomorrow morning, they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. Are you actually trying to give me whiplash? Well done. You gave me whiplash. 
Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. I keep overshooting the um, you know, the stop zones. I'm so used to more the new age games. Just automatically trigger them the cutscene or whatever you do. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C series. Best in class. It's a shame you've got a wreck it. They see this down the road. Cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Fuck, three and a half minutes. Alright, so the speed limit thing is getting fucked right off of this. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm trying to flip back between Jesus. This and the mini map. I'm still getting used to driving in this. Fucking vehicle smoking. Oh, that was close. Can we. Oh yeah, the map. Oh, how far is this? I've got to get it there, get it repaired, and get it back. Damn man, this may take me another, you know, a couple of goes. One minute down. I'm gonna try and time how long it's. We stand for from three and a half minutes. See how long it takes us to. Oh shit, I thought we were going that way. I was paying more attention to the road than the mini map. There's the cops right behind us. Have we just got to get it there within a minute? It's surely we, it's not going to be there and back. Within 3.30. Oh, That'd be impossible. Oh! Yeah, no way. Me driving has been African bad. Don't mind me, officer. Ah, shit. I couldn't remember the cop scene at the beginning. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Excuse me. You're here. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Oh, 
Right, so we've got three and a half minutes to get back there. What's this? Oh, it's gonna overheat. Something is it? Oh, we got the cops there too. It's not stolen, it's borrowed. Uh, so got, if we release the accelerator, it lowers it down. What's going on there? Was that ambulance? I've just seen the flashing lights. I wasn't sure. Yeah, what I'm trying to do with each mission, I'm trying to, or each video so. He's trying to get maybe one or two parts in, but if it's one part, if each part's like 25 to 18 minutes, then it's just going to be that one part, isn't it? I don't want to overextend. Excuse me. Two and a half remaining. Oops. We're going a different route, I'm sure. Yeah, we come across there, didn't we, originally? I think we should do this. For the record, that is not my bad drive. <laughs> They've tampered with the car, as you know. I like this game. There's not much in the way of open worlds, you know, exploding. But, th but that's okay. It's like each scene is just it's like its own little mission and whatnot. I, know, I definitely know Mafia 3 is more open world, I know that. But these games aren't about that. It's not Grand Theft Auto. It's a lot more story driven. And I appreciate that a lot sometimes. Excuse me. Damn, cab drivers. Oh, wait. I just want to run. Oh, oh, oh. A minute left. Far away. Ah, we, we've got this. I'm gonna try and make it in under 30 seconds to go. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. See, without it being open worlds, uh, you don't really learn this city too much. You can just give them districts and try from point A to point B in this district and whatnot. Good. We're good, we're good. There's my car. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment? No. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away.
from Europe. We got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Andrew. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Oh, wow. Got some racing. Three laps. Why the fuck have I started? Yes. Oh, let's try and. Uh... Son of a bitch! Excuse me. <laughs> oh man, I was never good at racing games. Yeah, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. How much damage can this car take? Oh, one's gone off the boat. Four out of 16. I can see three guys in front. All three of them were close. That's a crap! <laughs> Who the fuck put me behind the wheel here? Whee! What? What? Do you know what? The vehicle seems to be taking no damage. Jesus! You kidding me? But in first. From 16th. Need to take these corners tighter. Yeah, we're still on the first fucking lap here. Is this the second lap? No. Maybe this one. There we go, lap two. I did not expect to be fucking racing. We have no handbrake. Shit. Oh man, we lost the position there. I've got to try and remember that after the flag. A big turn. What? Him? Where's the point where we can skip the race? Yeah, we need to get in the bottom there. Or is it someone else's time to shine? Can I boost? Oh, oh shit! I was looking away. Yeah, still no damage. We're good. We're good. <laughs> that corner's gonna kill me. Twice now. Tommy Angelo won the lead. Do you know what? After this, I'm going to look over the controls. Is there a handbrake? Slow down. Tap your brake now and again. Yeah. Hey. The I mean, I'm hoping if we're close enough towards the end that we can. Um, you know, it's going to do like a cutscene where we win the race. Because I do not trust myself to win this. For example, last. Ah, what the fuck? Amateur! I agree. Well, I would on the final lap. Yeah, if I do fail this, I will skip back. I'll just keep trying that edge if it gives us that option. And I'll just cut to the end of the race where we win. However many goals it takes. Man, it's not looking good, is it? Ah, son of a bitch! 
Do you know what? I'm trying to break early. It's just totally uh, like responding terrible. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Right, six out of sixteen. I'm not sure how far I'll be away from the finish line. Oh no, I don't think we've won this. We didn't win. Just lost another position there. Yeah, reach that race. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna tell you how many times this took me to win this. Let's just say it was more than five and less than ten. Finally. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom. I just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <laughs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. All right, guess we'll find the Polly. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, no, folks. we just left each other ten seconds ago. Where's we got over here? You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? Oh, he's the, uh, he's go the weapons guy. I speak to this dude. I forget his name. He's the mechanic. Your mama made that Ralphie. look easy to Tommy. When they started racing here 20 years ago, most guys didn't think they could just make Hmm. That we in the just put the my daughter through another year at school, Tom. No. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But to deal with the Ah, that's. by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. I thought that was some of the old guns. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> this your first time on the Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Who the fuck's Polly? Plus that, to try to this drive after the tuna. Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but no, we made it. Kind of... I've seen Polly any place. Who came by? Five minutes ago, maybe? Looked like he'd had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. All right, so the only place we can really go is down here, isn't it? We'll see what's going on. I think this part's going to be a little longer than the others. I've no idea. That mission took me so many times to do. I showed you guys the first fail part, I think. 
as I promised, cuts away to one. Is this poorly? That glitching leaf. Where's it gone? Oh, thank Christ you're here. That's oh, Bobby. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Bobby's big day at the track's over. Ah, there he is. Come on, drunken ass, Paulie. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. Have we got to take him home? Get in the car, yeah. But we couldn't let him drive, could we? Oh shit, what does it do? You did real good today, Tommy, with the... the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive. You trying to make me feel even worse. So, um, anyway, yeah. I said this guy can drive. Don Salieri. This is a guy who. You say you're helping me, Tom. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, I said this guy can drive. Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. We put me I'm just checking how far we have to go. Bit of shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race. Then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whatever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sounds like Paulie wants out. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge! Take the bridge over to the island! Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties! I don't know. Taking you home seems... more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Woo-hoo-hoo! I'll leave it to you to swim with the barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's there's a blue sign. Uh home. Brought me home. Uh, maybe maybe that's yeah. A good idea. Yeah, well okay, I'm gonna Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, I, I don't feel so good. All right, so far, the toughest mission I've done took me so many goals to do that race. They always call me at the end on the last bend. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. If you want to get in touch, you can contact me there. All links are below. I'm not sure whether this is a part four or five or something like that. 
I'm not sure what I am. I haven't really edited yet. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.